Section 2, Change, Configuration, and Release Management. This section will look at the tool's ability to govern the change process and maintain an accurate picture of configuration through the Configuration Management Database. In this section, we'll look into events in a typical day for Cindy Change Manager. Cindy Change Manager is working her change tickets. This change is currently in the plan phase, and we see from the phase instructions that Cindy needs to evaluate the risk and impact of the change. The impact of change on related business services is an important aspect of understanding the risk. Cindy goes to the Involve CIs tab to view the configuration items for the change and the affected services that have been calculated by the system based on the CIs that have been entered. Cindy sees that the catalog and checkout business services could be affected by this change and that their business criticality is very high. This makes the change more risky. Now that Cindy understands the impact this change may have, she evaluates the complexity of the task plans and the completeness of the implementation and backup plans. These plans are not well documented for the change. Cindy decides to set the risk to very high. With the risk for the change documented, Cindy will now check the urgency and impact of the change and adjust them if necessary. The priority of the change is based on these two fields. Currently, the priority of the change is low. Cindy updates the urgency to severe disruption and the impact to enterprise. We see that the priority has been changed to high. Now, Cindy would like to better understand the impact to other CIs for this change. Cindy knows this data comes from her CMDB and is validated from Universal Discovery. Most of all, she likes that it's made available to her directly in the ticket. And Cindy and other change approvers can be confident that they have an accurate picture of what's involved. Cindy selects the CI and sees critical information about it. Then she checks the impact. She likes this view because it gives her a nice graphical representation that's easy to consume. And information is organized by device, system element, service component, and actual services. As the change manager, Cindy spends a lot of time in the change calendar. From the calendar view, Cindy can apply filters to view the data she's interested in at that moment. She can view the calendar by day, week, or month. She can even pick a specific date in the past or future to jump to quickly. Cindy also has the ability to turn views on and off of the calendar, such as maintenance windows, blackout windows, and holidays. Cindy needs to realign some dates for changes she is managing. The Change Calendar in Service Anywhere can suggest the next open window, look at schedules for specific changes, and view and address conflicts. Here, Cindy can see how blackout periods and maintenance windows help drive the scheduling. This is great, since it's impossible for her to remember all of the maintenance windows for each application. Cindy selects the change she's worried about and sees that it is in fact scheduled during a blackout window. Within a few seconds, Service Anywhere has given her a list of proposed change windows that falls within the acceptable range. That was easy. Cindy reviews the Change Analytics dashboard to help her make decisions about what could make her changes more successful. Looking at the dashboard, she sees that the current success rate is a little low. She wants to understand what actions she can take to improve the success rate of her changes. The action point screen shows that successful changes have a higher rate of having build and test and execution task plans when compared to unsuccessful changes. Cindy sees that this change has an execution task plan, but does not have a build and test task plan. She starts a discussion with the team working on the change and ask them what tasks are needed during that phase. She is then able to add them before advancing the change for approval. Cindy has now improved the likelihood that this change will be successful. When multiple changes should be managed and implemented together, these changes can be related to each other or to a parent change that represents the release. Cindy sees that there are multiple changes related to the migration of the payroll application to a virtual environment. 
She wants to ensure that these changes are coordinated as a single release. She's able to quickly search for these changes using the powerful natural language search engine and then easily relate them together. Once a change has been implemented, it moves to the validation metaphase. Cindy will update the CMDB and check whether any changes detected by Discovery match the planned change implementation. Once the CMDB has been updated and validated, the change is moved to the review phase, and the review section is now displayed. Here, Cindy will document her review findings and completion code, and then close the change. Service Anywhere provides her an easy way to add any post-mortem information that is important to her and her company at the right stage in the ticket. For more information and access to a free trial system, please visit hp.com forward slash go forward slash service anywhere. Thank you again.